Hey everyone, it's May 21st, 2020, and I thought I'd make a video to kind of say goodbye to some of the worst parts of the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, in 10 more days, uh, Governor Inslee is uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, fingers really crossed, hopefully reopen parts of the economy here in Washington State. I, I really look forward to seeing a lot of people uh, that, that have... Uh, uh, been very important in my life over over the last uh, couple of years. I've really been missing out. Um, and I thought, I thought I'd make a goodbye video to show all the things that, that have become almost like my new friends here. Obviously, this, uh, which I use when I go to some very high-risk places, obviously. Um, this is for, uh, for protecting me from the outside. But, but from the inside, I have supplements like this vitamin D3 and uh, vitamin C, right? I've been doing a lot of vitamin C flushes. This is where you take 10 to 20 grams of vitamin C and then you pass watery diarrhea. Um, and I've been doing that pretty much nonstop, especially when I, when I go on my intermittent fasting. I, I tend to fast at least a uh, 15 hours every day, and occasionally I'll, I'll fast a full 24 to 36 hours. When I do that, I take a lot of uh, salt supplements uh, for, for my uh, electrolytes. And um, something I like to uh, use on my food is uh, cayenne pepper. Um, you can you can even inhale this stuff. What I do is I roll it in unbleached paper and I smoke it almost like a joint. Uh, I gotta do a video of that at some point. Um, and uh, uh, it has a cleansing effect. You, you cough up a lot of mucus. Um, I'm not sure if I would recommend that if you had an active COVID-19, but afterwards if you wanted to detox, that might not be a bad idea. In terms of cleaning, I'm very fortunate that not too many people want um, the healthy soaps when I go to the store. There's a whole wall of this stuff at the store, whereas all the crappy soap is just, it's all gone. You can't even buy it. And they even mark this down because nobody wants it. Nobody wants it. And um, here's a bottle of um, oxygen bleach. And um, here's some uh, isopropyl alcohol. Um... Again, nobody wants this stuff. They want the Clorox. Actually, uh, the other day, I needed a small amount of chlorine bleach. I didn't want to buy a whole bottle because I hardly ever use that stuff. So I ended up making some of my own with electrolysis. I got to show a video of that at some point. I, I thought I had recorded it, but somehow I lost it. I got to make another video at some point. Uh, baking soda, obviously. Uh, this is what I mostly use for my laundry. Uh... Here's a, uh, uh, some non-alcoholic beer. Um, I, I like the taste of beer, but I don't react very well to alcohol. Uh, my face will flush red. Um, I think if you know an Asian person, you probably know what I go through. Oh, uh, alpha lipoic acid. Um, a few years ago, I went to get tested uh, for mercury poisoning because I have high-functioning autism. And for most people, uh, mercury is a big problem. And um, I tested very high. The thing is that I'm not, I don't have any exposure of, for mercury. I don't work with it. I, 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 I avoid um, mercury containing vaccines. I don't have any amalgams. And um, I haven't had any exposure to it for many years, at least not, in, not uh, since I got vaccines as a child. And I've detoxified from those, obviously. Uh, I think the problem is I don't get rid of mercury uh, very readily. So the amount that I come to it for my everyday life uh, just accumulates. Um, the, the good news is that we're, uh, fewer people are using uh, fluorescent light bulbs. I get very nervous uh, when people... Uh, toss fluorescent light bulbs out very carelessly. If I have to go near a, a dumpster to throw stuff out, I always get very nervous that there's broken light bulbs in it. And hopefully in a few years, I won't have to be so nervous anymore because they are getting phased out and replaced with LED 
light bulbs. I wish we would still use the. I, I wish people still use the Edison light bulbs. So I, 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 I do miss them. They, they do have. Uh, they, they, they do. They, they do look nicer for sure. Um, what else do I have going on? Oh, this is a solar charger with a battery in it. Um, I love to go on long distance walks, and um, usually one charge on my cell phone is never enough when I go on these really ambitious walks, so this is really helpful. That can charge my phone at least two more cycles on top of what my phone had, right? Uh, obviously, I, uh, uh, I, I love to view the night sky, and sometimes, oh, talking about the night sky. So something I've been reading about during the crisis, astronomical algorithms of certain mathematical formulas for calculating where all the planets are very precisely within a couple of degrees, um, now you might wonder why what, what I would do with this. Um, one thing I'm hoping to do is to see if there's a correlation between astrology and the financial markets. I made a couple of videos of, uh, showing the uh, what happens if you match astrology to the financial markets, and I made a number of predictions. I predict that Dow is going to fall to uh, 10,000, at least measured in today's dollars. Either either that or we're going to have to hyperinflate the dollar, right? And I showed that gold is not nearly uh, the safe haven that everybody thinks it is. It's been overbought, right? Uh, gold and silver have both been overbought because of all the leverage involved, right? And I talked about why platinum might be a better bet and maybe even the Japanese yen, right? Because the Japanese yen has been oversold as it is, right, because of its low interest rates and the fact that it's not a reserve currency like the dollar, right? The dollar is also oversold, but it's also overbought as the reserve currency, right? Um, so Japanese yen uh, uh, and platinum, I'm really bullish on those two. Um, the nice thing about the Japanese yen is that in 1986, they made a commemorative 100,000 yen coin it contains 20 grams of gold, and you can buy them for barely over 100,000 yen, if I remember correctly. Uh, but you, you have a little bit of a backup if you're wrong about the yen, right? Uh, I, I, I haven't seen them for a long time. After I made the astrological calculation, I went on eBay looking for them. They, they, you used to be able to see eight or nine of them on eBay at any given time, but I think uh, more people were aware that you could actually use them like 100,000 yen. It used to be just another gold coin, uh, and people really didn't pay attention to it. You used to be able to buy them for under 100,000 yen, if I remember correctly. Uh, but I think people are wising up to that, so unfortunately, no more. Oh, I forgot to mention uh, another supplement that I'm going to be needing to take in the coming days, melatonin. Unfortunately, my sleep schedule has gone way out of whack. It's almost like I've moved to another planet where the day is... 26, 27, even 28 hours long. I'm recording this at 5 a.m. and oh, I haven't gone to sleep yet. And last night I went to sleep at 3 a.m. So uh, I have not just jet lag, but planetary lag now, right? Oh, uh, but I need to move back to Earth. Uh, so I'm gonna be needing to take the melatonin uh, if we have to. I don't don't get me wrong. I've actually been sleeping very well. Oh, it just doesn't match with... If I moved to a planet where days were 26 hours, I'd be perfect. I sleep very well. I'm very well rested. I have enough time to do everything I want. Uh, I, unfortunately. I, I, I probably came from another planet that was like that, unfortunately. Um, and during this uh, lockdown period, I've been writing a number of computer games. And it's nice to have... Uh, the, the 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 hard copy of the game to uh, to to look at while while I program so uh, it's nice to, to 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 be able to demonstrate and hopefully I'll, uh, when I make some YouTube videos on some of my games eventually it'd be nice to have physical sets to demonstrate this is a Chinese chess set that I actually bought in China believe it or not it's made of bamboo wood um I bought this while flying through the Shanghai Airport on my way to uh, Taiwan, and um, I, there are two. There are actually two games I'm programming with this: so the, the the traditional Chinese chess and the much easier uh, Chinese dark chess that starts with the pieces face down, and um, it's like uh, uh, I'm trying to think of a Western game that it's similar to. Uh, uh, can't think of anything. Uh, basically, the pieces are ranked. 
there are seven different pieces and, and the higher rank ones can capture the lower rank ones and the goal is to capture all of your opponent's pieces. Uh, it has a lower branching factor, but it has probability involved. Uh, so you can think of it, you can think of it almost like backgammon, right? There's some probability, but also some skill uh, involved, right? Uh, and uh, my latest masterpiece that I'm programming, Blockus, uh, the two-player game. Uh, I I I think I'm getting close to almost solving the game, right? Um, it, uh, um, the, the, you have two sides, each of them with 21 pieces, 42 plies in total, and the, the computer can solve positions that are like 12, 13 plies away from the end. Uh, usually not all the pieces even go on the board, so that's like halfway through the game. Four player block is, is a completely different animal because when you have four players involved, you're not minimizing or maximizing anymore, right? and potentially two or three of the players could team up, right? So that's another concept that I haven't thought about. But I have something playable on my computer now. Uh, another thing I like to do to, uh, to, to help pass the time is to see how many, how many of the game pieces I can stack, right? I did this with the Rummy Cube pieces the other day. Uh, anyways, um... What else have I been up to recently? Uh, I talked about intermittent fasting. I get into little uh, disagreements sometimes when I do these fasts, though, because I'll be talking to a friend on the phone or maybe a family member on the phone, and they get very worried about me fasting. I can't talk to my parents about anything because they're, they're not problem solvers. They get angry, especially my mom. I was talking to her about a situation I got involved with at, uh, at work and how I could have handled it better and my mom just got so angry and later she apologized saying that she, uh, she, she just felt hurt that somebody would take advantage of her son. Almost like, uh, you know, she asked me if I had a child one day, let's say a three year old child, right, and he went out to play with a neighbor. A, uh, playing with a softball or something, and the neighbor uh, handled the ball a little bit more than my child, how I would feel about it. If my child came up to me and said, oh, my neighbor hand handled the ball more than I did while we were playing, how I would feel about it. Okay, maybe I'm not happy, but I, I need problem solving. I don't need you angry when I talk about this stuff. It's over with. And um, my mom cannot handle that, and so I, I've learned to try to avoid calling her when I when I need to, which is annoying because I, I sometimes I really do need her advice on stuff like that. Um, I, I've learned especially not to tell her that I'm fasting because she gets very edgy about it. And uh, it's unfortunate that a lot of these things I end up doing by, by myself, especially writing the computer games because nobody in my family understands computer programming at all and nobody really plays any of these games. Uh, the astrology, forget about it. Like some of my friends, they... They think that the concept of space exploration is all a scam, you know. Some of my friends think COVID-19 is all a scam as well. I, that I might agree with, but definitely not the space exploration. Uh, so the, the, whole, the, the whole mantra that we're all in this together, it, it really doesn't hold up well for uh, given what I'm experiencing in my own life. I, I, I have a lot more happiness when I, when I do all this stuff not together with other people. Thanks for watching.